This video is made possible by PowerUp. Turn your paper airplane into a smartphone flying machine. And use promo code FF10 to get 10% off your order at PowerUpToys.com. Hello, pilots of the internet. Welcome to Foldable Flight. My name is Kyle, and this is where I teach you how to fold paper airplanes that will blow your mind. And in this video, I am teaching you how to fold a nine Eagle, which you can see is a beautiful paper airplane. And now this is specifically designed to work really well with the power up motors. So this one works really well with the power up 2.0 and the power up 3.0. And it should work really well with the power up 4.0 also once that is released. Now, uh, the reason this works so well with those motors is the center of gravity is a little farther back than you would normally want it on a paper airplane that you're just throwing on its own. And that compensates nicely for the fact that the motor up front adds a lot of weight in front of the center of gravity and pushes it forwards. And uh, on a lot of planes that can make it nosedive, but this is already starting to compensate by uh, moving that center of gravity backwards. Now, there is a version of this plane that works very well without the motors, and that looks like this. So if you are hoping to fold the plane today and not use a power-up motor, don't worry, there's also a version of this plane that works well that way. Now, as so many of you know, uh, with most of my paper airplanes that I post to YouTube, I also design these printable and foldable templates for those planes, so as you can see, a9 Eagle is much improved in aesthetics once you use that template. And if you want to access this template, you just have to support me on Patreon, and I will leave a link in the description below so you can download and print off this template as well as many others. So let me show you this plane in flight, and then I'll teach you how to fold it. All you will need in order to fold A9 Eagle is an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper. But before we begin, you're going to need to decide which version you would like to make. This is the version that works with the power up motors. And this is the version that works best without the motors. And so that is going to dictate the very first step of your folding process. So if you want to fold this version, what you're going to do is you're going to start by folding the top two inches of your paper down like this. After that, the steps for each is exactly the same. If you want to fold the version that doesn't use the power up motors, do not start by folding the top two inches of your paper down. And actually this is the version that I will create on video. If you create this version, just do the exact same things I'm doing, but know that your paper's dimensions are going to start a little differently this will be the top edge of your paper folded down two inches. So let's begin by folding our right edge to our left edge. Again, make sure if you are folding the other version that your band is at the top of the page. And we're going to open that up and actually turn the paper over. And now we want to fold this top edge to the left edge of our paper. And what that should do is it should create a crease that goes right through this top left corner. What I like to do is I like to fold and find that top corner and just kind of tack the corner down and then I swing this bottom corner into alignment after I've found the top corner because that top corner is the harder part of this fold. And now once I've done that, I will go ahead and open this up. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, folding this top edge to the right edge. Okay, and we'll open up again. And now I'm actually going to flip this over as I make a crease that goes right through these two diagonal creases. So I'm going to pull this top down and 
crease right through that diagonal intersection. And the way you can find that easily is look at this diagonal and this diagonal and find right where they kind of form this triangle with a point. I'm gonna to try to keep my head out of the way, which may result in me missing this because I'm not having a great angle to view it closely. But you're just trying to tack that down right at that intersection and then sweep outwards to create a crease all the way across the page. And we'll open that up and flip the paper over once more. Our next step is to fold this top portion into center like so. And you should just have a triangle. And on this occasion, I want to leave a little gap between this edge and the center crease because some future steps are going to push the layers towards the center and I'd rather this layer not cross that center crease. Okay, and I'll do the same thing on the other side. I want to fold this to be as symmetrical with the other side as possible. So try to make that gap that you create the same on both sides. Again, it doesn't have to be a big gap, just a small space so that when those layers creep towards the center in a future step, they're not gonna cross over. Okay, so now we want to fold this outer edge right here to land on this diagonal crease. So try to control this layer as you bring this in and land this edge right here on that center crease, or not the center crease, the diagonal crease. Okay, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. And next you can see we have this crease right here that is on this side of the paper, but it's not going across these top layers. And I want to make that crease go across the top layers just by pushing this top portion of the plane back and enforcing that crease all the way across. And then I'll open that back up. And next I want to kind of poke this point and make sure that my plane kind of comes into this orientation where it's ready to stand up because what I want to do now is I'm pulling in on this diagonal and this diagonal. I'm kind of using those as hinges and pulling in on each side and collapsing it into the center like that. And you can see we have this big standing tower at this point. And you can actually begin to flatten that tower and you want to flatten it all the way Make sure that you have this center crease on the top layer land on the center crease on the bottom layer. And once you have, you can actually make those firm creases on these outer edges. Okay, and next what we wanna do is we want to fold this point forward as far as it will go, which is going to yield the crease that goes from this point here to this point here. And before I really firmly make that crease, I'm going to flip the paper over and check to make sure that this point here is landing on the center crease of this top section. And I can see that mine currently isn't. So I will realign that and then I push and make the crease on this layer here. Okay, and then I'm actually gonna flip it back over. I wanna look at it in this orientation here. And we have this really thick triangular section. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to use your thumb right near the center to kind of grab those layers and gently coax them into bending towards you. Because what you're going to do is you're going to fold this whole big triangle back towards yourself. And again, you want to land that point on the center crease. And then you can flatten all those layers as much as possible. And your plane should look like this. We are almost done at this point. We just need to fold the wings. So we are going to fold the plane in half like so. And this is going to look a little bit different if you're folding the version where you folded those two inches down at first. But for the power up version, if you are wanting to fly this with power up motors, you're going to need to fold big wings. And what you're going to do is you're going to fold 
maybe from about here, and it's going to slope very slightly upwards towards the back like that, or maybe even slightly higher like that. But you don't want big wings. If you are, or I mean, you do want big wings. If you are folding the version that doesn't, uh, that you're not going to fly with the power up motors, then you can fold much smaller wings than that. But you can see here, as I pull mine, because this is the power up version, I am going to create some nice broad wings that are really going to provide good lift to keep that power up motor aloft. And then I will go ahead and flip it over and fold the other side to match the first side. And there you go, you can see I have a finished A9 Eagle, and isn't that a beautiful paper airplane? Now, as far as throwing is concerned, this plane, uh, if you have this version, you're going to want a very light toss as you power it with the power-up motor. The other version can withstand really pretty high-powered throws, and so you really just launch that as hard as you want. If you find that your paper airplane's diving down at all, be sure to bend the back edges of your wings up slightly. That's called giving it up elevator and will help compensate for that by pushing the back edge of the wing down and the nose up. And while we're talking about ways to improve your paper airplane experience, that's where power up comes in. Turn your paper airplane that flies into something that really flies. Power up converts your paper airplane into a smartphone flying machine. Just download the app, attach the module, and take to the skies. All of the modules are quick to charge, easy to use, and are virtually crash-proof. PowerUp invites you to make many planes in many shapes because every plane brings with it new tricks and with them new gasps of excitement. Follow the link in the description and use the promo code FF10 to get 10% off your order at PowerUpToys.com.